Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by TheStreamingAdvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. And what we're going to look at today is Rabbit TV. What is Rabbit TV? You might have seen Rabbit TV out at various stores. Often it's found at kind of like discount stores. Things like Dollar General, sometimes a dollar store. Sometimes something like Five Below. But you see the packaging with the little dongle in it, and it'll say, you know, watch thousands of TV shows, watch thousands of movies. And it might look too good to be true when you take a look at it that way. I mean, you know, what, what are you going to find of huge value at a place like that? Well, here's what you get. What the dongle actually does is it sets you up so that you go into this interface and set up an account with Rabbit TV. Often, if you pick up the dongle at a store, it includes a whole year of access to its interface, basically. That's what Rabbit TV really is. It's an interface that connects you up with all of these services available online. And if you take a look, there is a lot to see. What it does is it allows you to access websites. It accesses web, like web series. It pulls in things like Netflix or Hulu. Whatever it can, it does. Look at how it's organized. I mean, there are so many different categories for everything. It has the live channels, music. It has things like you know connections to digital music services and Vivo, things like that. If you like podcasts, you can find them right there. And they even have the games. They haven't always had games, but they're starting to expand what they're doing. Pay-per-view. This what this is going to do is pull you in with all of the different like pay-per-view services. We'll say buy rent. We'll go to Trumbo. Oscar winner here. Order now. What do we have? Looks like you can order it through Amazon. They must have some sort of an exclusive. Let's say all is lost. Order now. So you pull up a bunch of different choices here, see? And the thing is, is that this is such a good cross-platform search, it's actually got more choices than even something like Roku, because it includes iTunes. I mean, look at all the choices. And, of course, this gives you a really good idea of how you can get a hold of it. I mean, look at the, the price difference. $199, $14.99, $299, $599, $599, $599. $2.99, $13.99. You don't have to just settle on anything. This also includes a pretty cool sports option. Under TV, it has sports on demand. Sports is always important with anything in the media. And what you find in the sports section is... You see a whole selection of TV shows about sports, including like, oh, there's Sports Jeopardy. That's a crackle thing. That's pretty cool. So you got your podcasts. Here you have your, you know, what they call premium sports. I, I'm not quite sure I understand the difference between what they call professional sports and premium sports. And, of course, we've got WWE as not exactly a sport, but it's usually listed in sports sections. And you even have a connections with all of these college networks. And that's cool. What, what this is, is a lot of the colleges have websites that allow you to watch live when there's competition. They have things like press conferences. Close that. Here you got all your networks. But this is, you know, as you see, this is rather extensive. I like the, the team radio stations for the NFL teams. 
you can't watch all the games available, but you know if you can just pull them in and listen to the local radio stations, it links right to them. And see, so what it's doing here is it's kind of saving you the time that it would take to do the research. You could always go to Google and say Washington Redskins Radio Network affiliates, blah blah blah. Eventually, you can find something. With this, you say, "Hey, I want to hear the game." You got it done. So what? This is, as you see, is it's just a super web portal. That's really what it is. It's, it, you know, people call it a service sometimes, but it's not a service as much as it is you know, somebody pointing things, pointing through you. Know, oh, you want this? Here it is. You want that? Here it is. They don't host any of this stuff. They don't. You know, they, it's not their content, but they sure do help you find it really quickly. And that's what Rabbit TV is. That's that's what it that's what it's talking about when it says TV shows and movies. If you're not connected to the internet, obviously you're going to have a whole lot of trouble using it. Something else that Rabbit TV offers is a connection with Android. You can download an Android app for your phone or tablet. And then you can even use it with a Chromecast and watch it on TV with that. That's actually could be a real game-changing development for Android and Rabbit TV that came along not too long ago. But that's going to give you access to a lot of things that you wouldn't necessarily have had before. But that's Android's little contribution to the world and this is rabbit tv's overall value i think that rabbit tv would work out really well for anybody who had a computer like hooked up to their tv if you're someone who enjoys doing that this is something that can give you an easier to use interface than just say bookmarking every single website you can think of with tv shows on it But that is the extent of what we're going to cover in this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe and share this with your friends. We just broke over 5,000 subscribers yesterday, so thank you for all the support. But of course, now we're shooting for 10,000, because why stop? I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. Stream on, my friends.